Hey, what's happening, guys? I got a question from a viewer who said, you always say LEDs are just diodes. So can you make a bridge rectifier from LEDs? Well, yes. Not going to be a good one, but yes, we can make it. That's what we'll do today. First, let's talk about, you know, bridge rectifier. Now, I'm sure that you've seen diagrams of bridge rectifiers before. Most of them start out looking like this. All diodes point towards the positive. So this is the positive, this is the negative, those are our AC in and outs. So we feed AC in there, and we get out DC, sine wave, straight line. <laughs> That's probably the best way I could come up and draw it. I ain't no artist. Now, let's take a look at a couple other ways you can draw this. Here's another way of looking at the circuit. We have two diodes facing the right, two diodes facing the left. The anode of diode number one is connected to the cathode of diode three. Anode of diode two is connected to cathode of diode four. And here's where we would input our AC. And that's where we would get out our DC. Same circuit. Just drawn these in different orientations, basically. Here's another way to draw it. Four diodes all facing in the same direction. We would connect our AC here. And we would get out our DC here. Three different ways of looking at the exact same circuit. So why did I show you all this? <clears throat> because if you if you tend to look at this one, which is probably the most common way to draw it. And then you think to yourself, well, how the hell am I going to put that on a breadboard? You can. But there are other ways to do it. None of them is right. None of them is wrong. If it works, works for you. That's all. All right, let's build a rectifier. First, we need four diodes. These are one in 4,007 diodes. Make sure I uh, point everything in the proper direction. Just remember, everything points towards the DC positive. Like so. So there's our simple bridge rectifier. This is our DC ground point here. And this is our DC positive output here. So we've taken our positive up to the red rail and our negative or ground 
down to the blue rail. Next we'll put in a smoothing cap. This is 33 microfarad at 450 volts. Yeah, it's big. Not going to hurt anything. But we'll get that in there. And attach it to the rails. Hmm. Thought I had another little... Jumper wire there. Okay. Now we need a load. This is a uh, 2 meg resistor. That'll keep the current nice and low. We'll connect it up. One side to the positive, one side to the negative, doesn't matter which side you go with the resistor, they're unpolarized. And then we will hook up our AC. To the top and bottom points of our diamond like so and we'll bring in the meter we're gonna put it on AC mode turn it on on the variac we'll measure our AC input to the site to the circuit 10.12 and our DC output to the circuit 16.3 okay let's look at ac on the circuit we should have very little if any ac there should be almost no ripple yeah 0 0.006 volts ripple so almost no ripple whatsoever very good all right, so there's your standard bridge rectifier circuit. Let's disassemble this part, the rectifier part. And we'll replace the 1N4007 diodes with LEDs. Now here's where it gets interesting. When we're talking about rectifier diodes, which is what... Uh, one in 4,007 is considered. We're looking at peak repetitive reverse voltage of 1,000 volts. You know, we're looking at um, standard reverse vo uh, voltage of 700 volts. And we're looking at uh, 30 amps of repetitive surge current. These are tough little guys. But when we start talking about LEDs, you know, it's an entirely different story. We're talking values that are vastly smaller. So I'm looking at a data sheet for um, good quality LEDs. These are Vichy. LEDs. God knows what these are. These are, you know, Amazon, eBay specials. And we have a reverse voltage of 6 volts. Maximum DC forward current of 20 milliamps. And a surge forward current of 1 amp. Power dissipation of 60 milliwatts. So you can see, we're going to be talking about a lot less. So let's put this together and we'll see what happens so our positive our anode is the long leg 
and you know they always point towards our DC positive <laughs> there we are so we need to connect our DC ground point there and our DC positive there. Did you see him blink from the charge in that capacitor? Hope I didn't just blow him up. <clears throat> I gotta adjust something here. Hang on a second. This one needs to come up. So I have room to plug in the, uh, the AC. Come on, get in the hole. There we go. All right. So, then we'll hook up our AC. But I'm not going to plug that in. For the simple reason that they're just gonna blow. What we need is some current limiting. And somewhere over here in Paul's great pile of stuff, we got some resistors. So let's use a couple of 1K resistors for current limiting. So you can already see, right, where the problem with building an LED-based rectifier is. You've got to limit the current. You've got to limit the voltage. They're just not as robust. All right, this may or may not work. That capacitor discharge may have killed those LEDs, in which case we'll just have to rebuild everything. But I haven't touched our input. Let's get our output here. It's interesting, we're still getting a point of vote. That's from the Let's discharge that guy. There we go. That's better. And let's fire it on and see if anything at all happens. Nope. They blinked and died. They're just not as robust is the point that I'm trying to get to. And just to show you that they're dead. Make sure everything's off. Don't want to get shocked. Let's uh put this on diode test and yeah we got nothing. 
you see what's happened is we've gone over the reverse the maximum reverse voltage of them and we just blowed them up so if you can keep the reverse voltage below the maximum for your LEDs and like I said we were looking at a good quality Vichy LEDs they have a maximum reverse current of 6 volts so it's just not worth it yeah you can do it but why why would you want to there are parts made specifically for that specifically the 1N4007 which is known as a rectifier diode so yeah theoretically it's possible practically don't bother i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all of my patrons who make this channel possible if you're not yet a patron check it out there's a link down below dollar a month is all i ask that's it i'm out peace